So, Patrick, I guess the headline from this is that the bank has clearly been too pessimistic with its growth forecasts. Why do you think that was? Was that by accident or design? Well, I don't think we know uh, exactly whether it was accident or design, but it was certainly completely wrong uh, in common with the Treasury and all the kind of establishment economists and the consensus. They all said Brexit would damage the economy and growth rate very badly, and they were all completely wrong because they talked about Brexit uncertainty, which was complete nonsense, because actually all the uncertainty is about how trade will benefit us. And... Uh, about the terrible negative effects of Brexit, which is nonsense because, again, free trade can't be bad. It's got to be good for us. And most ordinary people understood that. And they went on spending. They had confidence. And that's what we, we've seen in the figures in the second half of the year. And they acknowledge it today. Now, the governor has taken us through how the bank arrives at these upgrades. It's put, putting most of the credit for the latest upgrade down to the Chancellor's autumn statement and the actions that he took there. Do you go along with that assessment? No, I think that's complete nonsense. I mean, the Chancellor hardly changed anything in the autumn statement, and nor did the bank change much in the monetary policy. I mean, half a percent, quarter of a percent rate to be absolutely uh, Really. I think the bank did a decent job in supporting liquidity in the actual turbulent, vol volatile days, you know, just immediately after Brexit. But beyond that, I don't think they've really done much, either, either, either the bank or, or the Chancellor. Now, the bank's clearly quite relaxed about inflation from what it was saying today, although, as said, Conway was pointing out just before you came on air, there are a lot of input uh, price increases now, certainly being faced by UK manufacturers. At what point would you start raising interest rates? Well, I think the bank is now positioned to move uh, towards high, uh, higher interest rates over the medium term, if, if indeed, as I think, it's even now getting growth a bit too low. I mean, I think that the 2 to 3% region, it's now saying growth will be, it's saying 2%, but it's in the region of, of reasonable growth projections, in my opinion. Uh, but I think it's likely to be higher. And also, uh, uh, the, the, the wage response may well be higher than the 3% or so they're projecting. And um, the growth in the economy, you know, because of the boom by the lower exchange rate on exports hasn't really, I think, been factored in. They keep on talking about how consumers, you know, will be, 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 be muted because their real incomes won't be rising so much. But, of course, when consumers are confident, they, they will spend and investment is strong and net exports are going to be strong. So they may well be looking at more of a boom uh, and the more of a need to raise than that. All right, Patrick, we've got to leave it there, I'm afraid. Good to see you as ever. Patrick Minford there from Cardiff Business School.